The name of the game is Survival. Are you prepared? Let's find out. So you live in a big city. Lots of people, thousands of people. Yes, you can survive in a big city. Might just be a little bit more difficult than if you lived in a country, but you can still do it. Do you have a plan? What happens if the power goes out? Do you know what to do then? Do you have backup? Do you have any way to charge your cell phone? Do you have any type of plan in place? Remember one thing, as long as you have electronics, cell phones, computers, laptops, you're being followed. Doesn't matter what you do. If they want to know where you are, they'll follow you. Don't forget that. Can you survive the storm? Storms can roll in. Storms can just come right upon you, especially if you're out in the wilderness. You could be blocked by a mountainside. You don't even know it's coming. Can you survive? That is the million dollar question. You know, nowadays we're so used to just going into the grocery store, farmer's market, wherever you might get your fresh fruits and vegetables from, and they're all sitting there ready for us. You just point and they load it up for you, put it in a bag, there you go, and out the door you go. What would happen if all of a sudden this wasn't available anymore? Not the begging part, the fruits and vegetables part. What happens if something happened and the supply chain collapsed? What would you do? Do you have a plan? Do you have food put away? Maybe we all should be that way. You don't want to be like this guy and doesn't know what to do. He's at wit's end. And this poor guy here, he's lost his job, his house, he's been evicted. He's eating a piece of bread. Just wondering where maybe probably his next meal is going to come from. Don't be this guy. It's a sad thing, but there's a lot of this going on. All over the world, people live in these kinds of conditions, which is so sad when you think where this world has come from and where it's going. You know, for people to live like this, this is a daily thing for them. They look at it as at least they have a roof over their head, I guess. But why is this acceptable? It shouldn't be. And the filth in some areas of the world where people probably are bathing and trying to catch fish or sell fish or anything is just deplorable. And in the, even in this country, people live like this. I know areas in my own area I live in right now where the homeless live. It's pretty sad. It's a way of life for them now. It's what they know and they don't want to leave it. So can you, if you had to, can you navigate yourself through the woods? Do you know how to set up a camp, a tent? build a shelter, a lean-to, could you survive? Do you know how to navigate the outdoors, where to go, what to search for? Do you know what to look for when you're out there? Certain trees, water, shelter. If for some reason you were just thrust into a situation do you know how to navigate? Do you have a compass? So you have an idea of possibly where you are going. Do you know how to mark your trail so you know how to find your way back? The woods can be very dense. 
you can get turned around and lost very easy. It's just the way it goes. And sometimes you might get lucky and come to a clearing. You might be able to get your bearings or a top of a hill and try to see where it is that you want to be or your destination. Do you know how to find water? Do you know how to purify water? Do you have the capability to purify water? That's very important because without water, you will not survive. You can go longer without food than you can water. Water is the main thing. Remember that. That's key to survival is water. And running water is even better. It takes less to purify. Do you know how to start a fire? Do you have the tools to start a fire? Without fire, you can't sterilize water. You can't cook. You can't stay warm. You can't dry your clothes. Water and fire go together. You need fire to cook your food. So say you catch a fish, you need to be able to cook it. So you need to know how to start a fire. Then once you get the fire going, don't let it go out. Keep feeding the fire. I've watched so many videos on TV and YouTube and they let the fires go out. Why? You can use anything to get a fire going from the ground, an old gas grill like here, a burning barrel. If you need to get a fire going in an emergency, you get a fire going. And it'd probably be a good idea if you knew how to cook on fire, a real fire, not a gas stove. Cooking on real fire is a lot different than cooking on a stove. Things tend to cook faster. You want to cook over the coals, not so much the flame. And then you want to make sure you know how to make coffee. Make sure that you always have coffee in your emergency supplies. Because in the morning, I don't know about anybody else, but I like a good cup of coffee. Do you know how to fish? Do you have a fishing pole? Do you have line? At least have line and some hooks. This way you can catch the fish. Then you can cook them over the fire. You can smoke them. You can dry them. There's a lot of different ways of preparing fish. Maybe something you want to look into so that you have an idea of how to do this could save your life. Do you know how to make your own homemade bread? Not store-bought. Make it from scratch. Hopefully that you have flour and stuff put up and yeast. And you can make bread without yeast also, but it's better if you have yeast. You know, this way here, you don't have to rely on anything. Do you know how to plant a garden? You know, how to work in the garden, how to maintain your garden. What happens if you had to supply your own vegetables? Do you have seed? Do you know how to harvest? What you can harvest and what's edible? Some plants, everything on the plant is edible. If it came down to an emergency situation, you know, being able to grow your own food, and knowing how to harvest it and what you can eat may help you out in a bad situation. Do you know like your edibles out in the woods, your fruits, your berries, your mushrooms? Maybe you should buy a book on edibles. Do you have rice on hand? Do you have rice stocked up? Rice will keep, if you do it in a Mylar bag, could keep up to 20 years or more if you keep it in a cool, dry place. It's a very good staple to have on hand. You may want to get into raising your own chickens. If you live in an area where you can do it, start your own homestead. 
You could even do your own cows. You get your own milk, your dairy, and if you had to, your own meat. Just the way of the world. You just need to be prepared. Because once again, you don't want to end up like this guy. You want to make sure that you have a plan in place. Make sure that you're good to go for you and your family. Because you just don't want to be sitting there or living in those conditions. That would be a very last resort. You want to make sure that you're prepared. Thank you for watching Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Catch you on the flip side.